everybody. We have another holiday recipe. This it's not time, holiday. This is every day. Well, you it's know, an it's, it's an everyday recipe, but you know, you can use it for the holidays because everybody's searching right I now guess. for holiday meals and sides and desserts and stuff. And then, <laughs> so today we're going to prepare a panko and Parmesan cheese crusted asparagus, baked asparagus in the oven, so it stays somewhat uh, fresh and healthy. So first thing we're gonna do is cut off the janky hard bottoms of the asparagus. You wanna do that for me, sweetie? Yeah. Right? No, no, like all the way up here, right about there. Okay. We don't have to leave these too long. Okay. I'm gonna cut those. All right. Good, excellent. So look how nice that looks. So what you're gonna need to, to do this is a, to get rid of this stuff, you're gonna Magic. need- I think Amanda should start saying that in her kitchen designs, and I'll give you a magic drawer. Not really magic, it's just a drawer in the- But it's magic when you're doing the video. What we need for this is three different dishes. One's gonna have uh, flour, which I put entirely too much flour in this, in this, uh, in this dish. I always do that. The next one is gonna have two eggs, which Jane is gonna crack into, into here. Nice, my able assistant. Wonderful. And then a little trick to help the egg mixture adhere better to the asparagus, you can put in a teaspoon of mayonnaise into that. And then you're gonna beat that. Only one teaspoon? Just one teaspoon of mayonnaise, okay. just a little bit. I thought this was healthy. It is healthy. It's, 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 well, it's baked, not fried. Nobody knows there's mayonnaise in there. Just a little bit. Oh, now your father's gonna know he don't like mayonnaise. Good. That's perfect. Now, beat that up, Jane. What would you like me to eat? Oh, gross! I'll beat it. You talk to the audience. And while she's whisking those things together, I've got a bowl here of panko breadcrumb that I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to. Get all that mayonnaise like in there. We're gonna do like one, two, like three really heaping tablespoons. Jane likes this asparagus like I like my jokes. Cheesy. We'll do four of that. And leave the cheese out because we're going to use it again. We're gonna Who are you talking to to leave the cheese out? There's no one here. Ew, why does it look all congealed? That's okay. We're going to use some freshly cracked pepper from the pepper mill that broke our range top a couple of days ago. We're going to add about a tablespoon, a teaspoon rather, of salt in there. And then Jane's all time favorite, we're going to put a little paprika. Just give it a little. Get a little shade. How much paprika? I don't know, like that much. So you put, bread, they're seasoned panko breadcrumbs, or they're not seasoned? They're not seasoned. So whole wheat breadcrumbs. Whole wheat, why do you use whole wheat? Uh, because you tell me to use whole wheat, because it's better for us. No, because it's crunchier. Whole oh, wheat, because it's crunchier. Any kind of whole wheat breadcrumbs gonna have more crunch to it. I don't know and it's not necessarily buy that. So you didn't put anything, you just put cheese? And the paprika and yeah. salt pepper? That's it. Salt and pepper. Okay. Yeah. They, they hurt me. Okay, Get so the they, down. I gotta remember for the uh, description. But you did not that's use season, which that's important. That's good. That's good? That's good. That's good. Okay. okay. So this is where the fun part starts and where it gets a little bit messy and a little bit um Can you need this? Yes. You're going to I'm gonna leave right there on the end. You're gonna have your baking sheet, which you're gonna use a little bit of cooking spray on so that it doesn't stick. You're gonna get a pair of tongs. Mmm, that's so good. Cheese and paprika, that's my favorite. Oh, so we're not gonna make all of this asparagus because it's a lot for me and Jane to try to eat for yeah, dinner but tonight. But well, we can make it for tonight. No, no, we're only gonna make a little bit. Then it's gonna sit there and rot in the fridge. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dredge the asparagus in the flour and into the egg. Get it nice and coated because you Can want I see it. That? And then into your breadcrumb and cheese mixture. Really toss it around in there. And then once they're coated, Jane, you'll spread those out on there for me, right? And so in your flour. And I'm sure Jane will edit this for time. 
because you don't need to see us doing all of this. Well, you could talk about something. Let's talk about how asparagus makes your urine smell. Why okay, is that? Okay, if you want to go there. Why is that? I don't know, but mine gets stinky stanko. So the one thing about this dish, while it's delicious, it is messy in the preparation because you kind of... Yeah, but it's not any more messy than making like a chicken cutlet. It's kind of like the same thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you know, line them up like little like little soldiers on the, on the front lines of the battle. You're going to have your oven preheating to 425. We have a friend who comes to visit us often. These are her favorite. I make them for her all Jen. the time when she's here. It's Jen Larson. Get the brick for one. I only got a fork. You got those thumbs. You could use your, you could use your fingers on that. I don't want to get dirty. The holidays are coming and it seems like everybody is looking up holiday recipes. Now they're planning because I guess everybody's excited to be with family since they got gypped at the beginning of the year. So everybody's looking forward to Thanksgiving and Christmas this year. I gotta move a little faster, my love. Oh, well, how, how much faster do you want me to go? Well, I, you know. I can only go so fast and I'm using my, look how I'm getting dirty. I wasn't supposed to get dirty, this was your thing. You better get dirty for my thing. Saying. Once you've got all of your, I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh sure, you get to wash your hands. Very feisty today. Very. Do me a favor, wet a paper towel for me, please. Very, very feisty. I'm not sure. I'm feisty because I only had a couple of sips of wine instead of a whole glass. Not sure if I like it. So once you get all of your asparagus, because my wet paper towel. Once all of your asparagus is on your baking sheet, like hold it closer. How are they supposed like, well, to I'm see trying you? To... Look, you can see in the viewfinder. Go I don't think I like your attitude at all today. Okay. <laughs> Another little trick that I like to do is I, and I don't know if it necessarily works or not, but I think it does. Is give it a little spray, a cooking spray. Oh, no, it does. It makes them look. You don't turn the them halfway. No. If you turn them halfway, that's a little trick to get them crunchy. Don't listen to that, Jay. That's a terrible trick. And then I also take the extra breadcrumb and I kind of give it a little sprinkle on top, like so. And again, we're going to do a little bit more cheese on top. Mm. Kind of give it a little, little dusting. Put your it's nice because it melts when dry it apart. It dries on like your cheese. wets. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, like you say, it's a family oh. channel. And then this goes in the oven, 425, for about 10 to 12 minutes. Ah or until they're really crispy and golden brown, and then maybe like a minute or so under the broil to really crisp You know up. how we like to do that in this house. That's gonna go in the oven for how long you said? 15, 20 10 minutes? 10 to 12. Oh, 10 to 12. All right, so we'll see you in 10 to 12 minutes. Check, check, everybody annoys me. Of course, we have to have more. Mm. I know it's only one o'clock, but it's Sunday, so it Sunday. it's okay. It's o'clock, so yeah. Five o'clock, Sunday.